I'm going to show you two clips. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's clip one. And now, here's clip two. Okay, so let's pretend that these clips came from a project that you were shooting. I'd like to know which of the two clips, one or two, would you consider to be usable and acceptable? I'll tell you what, I know, that went pretty quick, right? So I'll show them to you once again. But what I didn't tell you the first time is that each of these clips was actually shot with the same camera at a very different ISO. So let's take a look. Here's clip one. And now here's clip two. All right, so I'm gonna put a card up above so that you could give me your answer. Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Carlos Quintero from Media on Q. If you're visiting my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please consider subscribing so that you can watch all the videos in this series. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the Canon 5D Mark IV and shooting at all the various ISO levels, starting at the base ISO of ISO 400 and working our way all the way up to 12,800. Okay, so let's get started. Let me tell you a little bit about the scene. So we're in my studio. Tate is my talent. I'm shooting with the 5D Mark IV in 4K C-Log at the base ISO of ISO 400. In this transition, I am applying the Canon provided LUT from C-Log to Rec. 709. I'm exposing only on-camera tools and I'm making sure not to underexpose or overexpose any part of the image. Okay, we're now looking at ISO 500. Let's apply the Canon LUT quick. Looks pretty good. I'm beginning to see a little bit of noise. So let's apply some denoising and see if that makes a difference. Okay, that image looks really nice to me. We're now looking at ISO 640 and I'm adjusting the f-stop to um, make sure that I balance out the image. So there is the Canon LUT applied and again, there's a little bit of noise, so let's apply the neat noising, and sure enough, it cleans up really nice. It's a well-balanced image. Here's ISO 800. And there's the Canon LUT applied. So again, the noise begins to show up or creep in, but we apply denoising and it's completely gone, making the image totally usable. Now ISO 1000. So this looks like a pretty nice image, but when we apply the LUT, we begin to see again the noise starting to creep in. So let's apply some denoising and see what that looks like. And sure enough, it cleans up really nice, really usable at ISO 1000. ISO 1250, and once again, really nice balanced image, looks nice to me. We apply the LUT. I begin to see again a little bit of noise creeping in. We apply the denoising and presto. Pretty good. Now just as a reminder, I'm exposing only on-camera tools, okay? So again, here's ISO 1600. We apply the Canon LUT. This looks pretty nice, a little bit of noise, a little dancing in the background. We denoise it and it gets completely rid of it making it totally clean. So let's take a look at ISO 2000. Again, nice balanced image. Okay, we apply the LUT and sure enough, there's a little bit of dancing in the background, right? Especially in the gradients on the wall. We apply denoising and once again, this is a very nice looking image to me. ISO 2500. Again, I mean, Canon cameras are known for being able to perform well under high ISO. And in video, this is kind of impressing me. And again, applying a little bit of denoising, and this image looks really usable to me. Here it is at ISO 3200. And now, we might start to see a little bit more noise, and we, and we do, for sure, when we apply the LUT. And let's clean this up with a little bit of denoising, and sure enough, Again, very, very usable. ISO 4000. 
I normally don't push my cameras beyond this, right? But I thought we would try it anyway. And sure enough, the noise is present. It is absolutely there. So let's clean it up. And that looks again really, really nice. At ISO 5000, I expect that this is gonna start getting gnarly from this point forward and sure enough, there it is, there's noise. It's pretty much everywhere at this point on the wall. And let's clean it up. And again, a very, very usable image. Looking at ISO 6400, and yes, I can see the noise in the background. When I apply the LUT, it is absolutely there, it's present and let's clean it up. And again, I end up with a very nice image. And the one thing to note is that there is no fixed pattern noise. So ISO 8000. Again, you normally wouldn't push the camera, but here it is. You apply the LUT and it's horrible. I wouldn't use it this way, but cleaning it up and let's take a look. Sure enough, this is more than usable, especially if you're delivering to the web. So here we are at ISO 10,000. So in log, it's hard to see the noise, apply the LUT, and it looks gnarly. Let's clean it up. And once again, this is getting more and more impressive as we go on, right? Because this image looks really nice. So ISO 12,800. I expect this is gonna fall apart when we apply the LUT, and of course it does. This is horrible, I would not use this. But let's clean it up and see what this looks like. And there you have it. This image is absolutely usable in my opinion, especially if you're delivering to the web. Now, does that require more work? Of course it does, right? Because you had to go through that denoising pass. So denoising does not substitute getting the right exposure and lighting properly and making sure that your shots are balanced when you're capturing a camera. But the fact that the Canon 5D Mark IV shooting in C-Log can produce an image that looks that good makes it a tremendous asset when you are shooting with the 5D Mark IV as your B-cam, C-cam, and honestly, maybe even your A-cam if you have a travel project. So what do you guys think? At which ISO would you feel comfortable using or pushing the camera if you had to and still be able to use those clips on your type of projects? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Now let's go back to the two clips that I showed you at the beginning of the video. The first clip was shot at ISO 400. The second clip was shot at ISO 12,800. Now which clip did you pick as usable for your types of projects. I'll be curious to find out and check it out when I see the results from the card I put up. Well guys, I hope that this video helped you get a little bit more confidence in what this Canon 5D Mark IV with the C-Log upgrade can actually do for you and your projects. If you found the information useful, be sure to let me know. And if you didn't, I think you know what to do. I'd like to invite you to subscribe in case you haven't already so that you can watch the rest of the videos in this series. And until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media IQ, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching.